good day for splashing. It's 8 a.m. We are here at Anekoski. Yesterday we have, have been cleaning the hall and putting the wax on. Today the fleet of sailboats are splashing. So there is six boats I think are going in over the water. Let's prepare, prepare Aventura for the splash. We have an hour, then the lifter comes. Last check was my painting successful enough. No, there is still some painting for next spring. Suzuki is working like expected. Oh, Aventura's splash went just fine. Here she is floating. A couple of jobs needed to do before the cruising. I need to paint on top of the keel inside and put some. Uh, Put some epoxy, epoxy filler or a thickened epoxy couple of spots on the deck through holes and something like that if we can make it not to leak. Here you can see Aventura Spilch. There was a layer of fiberglass which was not attached to the hole from corners, so the water got in. Some aggressive demolition later. Let's dig in some more, what we can find. Not much had, has been filmed today, but there has some things happening. Mast is up. Only the backstay needs to be attentioned. Uh, the beach area is painted with temakot and inside is a mess. Another day for cleaning. Let's see if I can come back tomorrow and continue. Here is our echo transducer. I needed to glue that again to the hole and seal the box better because it leaked coolant. Suzuki is running, but not without the carburetor float adjustment. Yes, do things at least twice to get things right. 5th of June and third week of Aventura in water is going by. As you can see the mast is back down again. I need to weld some piece to this 
part, which is located on the top of the mast. Then it reroutes the halyard of the Jenaker more forward so that it won't go across the forestay. Let's see how this continues. Today we have, have been working here a couple of hours with the whole family and the diesel heater is in its place. There's just the insulation, piping, uh, electricity and things like that to do in diesel heater. But jobs are going forward. But only downside is that Aventura has been sit, sitting in a marina for three weeks. But maybe that will change soon. Perhaps. Perhaps. There is a diesel heater in its place. It's been four weeks and the Aventura has sat on harbor, on water. <laughs> we haven't moved an inch. There's a couple of things needed to do. As you can see on my background, there is a new solar panel and also have a new charge controller, MPPT type controller. I have made a new piece like this. Now we have anchor light and the Tuneker furler halyard comes through the block so that it won't twist on our force day. Let's see how this goes. Work on the mast head is going well. The top piece is in its place and the new halyard is in place and uh, the electric wire for the anchor light is in the mast as well. So next thing is a attaching forestay as it is right now and making some protection for the halyard on top so that it won't shave. Next in line of the work is mass tipping as soon as my family comes out of the store. They went to do some shopping. So the time would travel better. Kids are a little bit bored with these maintenance <laughs> jobs. Finnish waters are so cold that if this is too big for you, you only have to drop it in the water and it comes this tiny little wiener. But I think I can manage with this one. After we have eaten it, it's time to raise the mast again. Everything should be ready for that. Finally Aventura is starting to look like it could take us to the first trip. Thank you for watching. You can follow us more up to date through Facebook and Instagram. In next episode we are definitely sailing. Maybe. Perhaps. <laughs>